We have uh, prepared a uh, book for you, and it is that if you want this, you know, click the uh, link below. As the ne, when you grow are growing up among your people, everyone always has uh, an interest in what you're learning. And the um, time will come when you might be learning things that are not right. And so it is that uh, there's a word that they use uh, when you're instruct when you're being instructed by the old people. And uh, if it's something that they become aware of that you're learning that's not something that's not right, they will say, sort of in an angry voice, "Chihe." So that word in chihe means, uh, in a lot of different ways, in our language it would mean the uh, idea of never being naive. In other words, don't be easily swayed, don't be easily swindled, don't be easily taken advantage of, and don't be hoodwinked. And so it is that the uh, word in chihe is uh, very important to understand and, uh, and it is only used when your elders become aware that you're learning something that's not right and it's something that goes against the teachings of the Neh and the, uh, the teachings that they have provided you and so if you take and let other people influence you that are not in the know sometimes you might get things wrong and this is very uh, depressing to the, uh, the older people when they were trying to teach you something that uh, has been passed down through the generations and then all of a sudden you take off on another path entirely. They uh, get uh, disappointed in you and they say, Nchihe! and then they tell you the correct uh, way to look at things and to reevaluate. And so it is that uh, we learn in the traditional way that we don't listen to things that don't uh, sound correct or true. And it is that we have to be very cautious as who is saying these certain things that might misdirect us and give us some wrong information. So it was that the traditional teaching was uh, very strict on learning things the correct way and learning the things that... Uh, would sustain you throughout your life. And so the learning process is that you try to stay true and the things that you learn are based on absolute truth. And truth does not change as, as the way that we are taught. And it is that truth will always be the same. And the, uh, the way that it is that uh, mentioned uh, during the teaching is that uh, learn this this is true and so when you are taught that truth you don't ever follow something else that it goes contradictory to that truth that you've been taught down through the years as you come from childhood into adulthood and so I know that when I was growing up that many times the elders when they became aware of something I was doing or something I was saying they would say Nchihe! And then they would give me the, uh, the teaching again. And they say, which is, this is the way it is. And so I've come to understand that they did not ever want me to be taken advantage of or to be uh, misled, misinformed. And that I must always try to stick to the truth and the things that add up to truth. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah. I shall be careful, you.